Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tats, and today we're going to cover the final scribe in the second part of Inscription. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, throw a like to the video, comment down below what your favorite part about this game is, or if you have been playing this game, and turn on the bell for notifications. You don't want to miss any of my amazing, great content. Nah, you don't have to turn the bell, but just throwing it out there. Anyways, so we've covered three out of four. We're going to do the final one, which is formerly the Stink Bug. That's right, the Scribe of the Dead is the Stink Bug. Who could have seen that one coming? Personally, I love how this all intertwines. It's a great story so far. So before we get into how to do the Scribe of the Dead's fortress, palace, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to go over some secrets for you. So let's get into that. Some of the first secrets that I haven't told you guys about yet is the mushroom house right here. This may look familiar because it is the fungus from the wetlands in the first segment of the game. Now, this will be a little bit different. It's not just if you have two of a kind, they will fuse them together. Now, they're going to be looking for a specific pair. So, the pair is going to appear behind them. They're going to want, in this case, two graveyard diggers, which I happen to have. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through that process. They'll combine the car, have dual abilities, and all that good stuff. So, this is secret number one. This next spot is going to be a hidden dock. You can access it, but you're heading up to the Beast Scribes place. Take a left, or if you're coming out of there, take a right. It will take you here. Be sure to hit the chest, get those cards. Now, you may notice there's a clover there. That's correct. You can re-roll your first hand when you start any battle, so keep that in mind. And then here, you'll just get some lore from these lovely NPCs. So, this is secret number two. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Scribe of the Dead, aka the Stink Bug. This one's pretty easy. First off, you're going to notice this thing on the ground. We're just going to call it a plaque because it's easier this way. This is going to be part of the tombstone puzzle directly in front of you. I will show you all the locations. This is what's going to be like when you walk up to it, and we're going to need three for each tombstone. But again, I will show you all the locations and what the puzzle is when it's fully solved. So the way we're going to solve the tombstone puzzle is each of the three battles we're going to do with these ghosts will give us not only the plaque, but they'll give us clues to who they are and what tombstone they belong to. Essentially, they are the key to get into that Scribe of the Dead. And I'm going to show you how it's done, where to find them all, and how to place them in what order. So let's start that. So once this battle is over, you will get the plaque for the tombstone. Now again, you will need three for each one. This one, once you beat one of the three ghosts, skeletons, whatever you're going to call them, you can go back anytime and get the information you need from them. But in addition, you're going to get that pack of cards, build your deck, so that way these fights will be easier. Something I just recently learned while making these videos is you can have more than 20 cards. I didn't think you could. I think it had 20 exactly. So either I'm really good at the game or just that dumb. So there's the name Sawyer. The middle star marks my grave. Those are the clues we are going to use for that puzzle. The next plaque for the tombstone puzzle is going to be right there on the ground. It's in the room to the left when you first walk in. You can't miss it. It's super easy. On to the next one. Here is going to be the next ghost we fight. We're going to get a plaque from him and one from the well. We'll get that information like always, so let's skip ahead. And that is another battle down. So let's get our card pack. Let's get the plaque for the tombstones. And let's get the information about who this certain ghost is. Now, there it is. We get the pack. It's on the house. Hey, you know, it's always on the house. Um, again, you can have more than 20 cards. Can't stress that enough. I was dumb and I did not know that. So build your deck wisely. You did beat me. So I guess I've got to fess up. And here's that information. The name's Case. KC. KC Hobbs. There's your clue right there. I'm from the tombstone on the left. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're going to go up to the well. We're going to click on it. We're going to plaque for the tombstones. This one reads the defibrillator failed. This is going to be the cause of death. Remember, each tombstone has three slots. Each one is going to tell a story, a name, how they died, and all that good stuff. I'll reveal the full puzzle at the end. If you cannot wait, skip ahead. So now we're going to open up the coffin right here. If you haven't been doing that, make sure you do. It's free cards. Why not? All right, there we go. Three fights, three easy ones, I would say so. I didn't struggle too much. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. So we're going to get the information per usual. You're going to use that to solve the puzzle. If you're still watching this and you just want the answer, you can go ahead and skip ahead. I won't judge you too much. Now, there's the pack of cards we're going to get. You're going to get the plaque with the information and all that good stuff. And in the next one, you are going to find another pack of cards and you're going to find another plaque. Now, the one on the left is going to be the plaque. The one on the right is going to be the pack of cards. Do not forget to check the coffin on the left. You hear me? That's the coffin on the left. You can get the pack of cards on the right. Just don't forget the plaque on the left. Now, continue forward after opening up both those coffins, you're going to find the last plaque right there on the right when you walk into the room with the mirror. And from here, we are ready to solve the puzzle. So let me show you what that's going to look like for each one. All right, here's what the final puzzle is going to look like. This is going to be the right tombstone, and this will be the order you will see. We got Royale brought down by Scurvy, and there was no cure. That will be the one on the right. I've already did the one in the middle. That's what it's going to look like. Now let's do the one on the left. And from here, you'll be able to go on to the Scribe of the Dead boss fight. So you need to go back and pause that. Please do so. So obviously, there's only three options left. You got a Hobbies, hit by a falling piece of ice, and the defibrillator failed. Now, I don't know why I use a defibrillator in that case, but there you go. Good luck with the Scribe of the Dead, because it's one doozy of a fight. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications if you want to be alerted for more content, and follow me on Twitch at I Got Stats. I'll see you in the next game.